we're in Central Texas right now. This is rattlesnake country, and we're off to see Beto O'Rourke's second event of the day. And of course, the big issue of the day remains Brett Kavanaugh. This issue is so dangerous for Beto O'Rourke because it has the ability to pull him off of his plan. And right now, his plan is working. He can't say to his Democratic supporters that he wants to give Brett Kavanaugh a fair shake. He can't say to the Republicans who are considering voting for him that, hey, I'm going to vote exactly like Kamala Harris. What he doesn't want this race to become is an ideological debate in a deep red state. There's something really powerful happening right now in this state. Every one of the 254 counties that we've been to, we are meeting people who are so focused on the future. The six of November, that's the day where we decide our future, our fortune, and our fate, not just as Texans, but as Americans, not just for this generation, but every generation that follows. You with me on this? You're on your program, you're on your message, and it's working. You have a legitimate chance, a fighting chance, to be the first Democrat elected to the Senate since 1992 in this state. It is a razor close race. But in Washington, the tempest swirls around this nomination. And you watched that hearing. Did you find Kavanaugh credible, or do you think he was dishonest? I, I don't think that Kavanaugh was, was honest. Is that a disqualification? It is. Those who, who we place in positions of public trust, whether we elect them to the school board or to the United States Congress or, or nominate them to the Supreme Court, they, they represent all of us. Like or dislike the conclusions they've reached, um, know that they're honest in how they've arrived at them. That, that's critical to the functioning of a democracy. Would you be open to voting for a conservative jurist appointed by a Republican president? Yes, I, I would be open to that. The Constitution vests the president um, who is um, elected by the people of this country with the power to make those nominations. And I think some deference is, is due. However, for me, Judge Kavanaugh's testimony is, is incredibly telling about his temperament and, and fitness to be a, a lifetime appointment to the highest court in the land. We've got to stand up against this stuff. And so these elections on the 6th of November could not be any more urgent or any more important. We're here in Conroe, Texas for a Ted Cruz rally. He's locked in a very tight race with Beto O'Rourke, but in the last 24 hours or so, polls have showed that it's widened to an eight-point race, which suggests that there's a Kavanaugh effect and a positive one for Ted Cruz. It gives me great honor to be able to introduce Mr. Ted Cruz. Justice Kennedy announced his retirement, Beto O'Rourke tweeted out to the world, he said, this just raises the stakes of the U.S. Senate race in Texas. You know what? You're exactly right. And that brings us to Judge Kavanaugh. So the vote for Judge Kavanaugh has been scheduled on Friday. What will happen and what should happen on Friday is that Judge Kavanaugh will become Justice Kavanaugh on the U.S. Supreme Court. Let me tell you this, we're gonna. Do you sense a Kavanaugh effect going on out here? Thank you guys all I mean, for being it, here. It should, because what happened there is a disgrace. And I think everyone sees it. So I, I hope it galvanizes our base to see what the other side is willing to do, because they don't play by rules, they have no ethical code or standards, and what we've seen in the last few weeks is disgusting.
Senator, is there anything that could uh, be shown in the FBI report that would cause you to reconsider? Sure, sure. I mean, I'm, I'm going to read it and, and, and read it with an open mind, but, but I think all of us expect to, for it to be very similar to the testimony we heard last week. What kind of political impact is this having on your race and around the country right now, do you think? Well, I think it, it really is underscoring for the whole country what the stakes of these elections are. It, it shows just how partisan the Democrats are willing to be. Do you feel like you got the votes? Uh, I, I think we do, and, 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 and I certainly hope so. Thank you for your Senator, uh, Chris.